Today is a sad day to be a smaller YouTube creator on the platform. For any YouTubers, if you're a small YouTuber, big YouTuber, if you've got 50 subscribers or 10 subscribers, you need to watch this video as it affects everybody on the platform. YouTube have updated their terms of service and I think we can all just say Thanks, Logan Paul. So YouTube have come out with a brand new update for all of the channels that were partnered on the YouTube Partnership Program. So I have fully read the brand new Terms of Service twice, thoroughly read it through, so I have a deep understanding of how it's going to affect all YouTubers, but specifically smaller YouTubers, but not just the face value of what they're about to offer and what I'm going to talk to you in this video today, how it's going to affect people further down the line. After the whole Logan Paul incident, which you can go on YouTube yourself, I'm not going to get into that. But what I am going to get into is the apology afterwards. Now this is where we knew there was going to be changes and we didn't know it would be so idiotic as the changes that are happening right now. YouTube said, it takes us a long time to respond, but we've been listening to every everything you've been saying. We know that the actions of one creator can affect the entire community, so we'll have more to share soon on steps we're taking to ensure a video like this is never circulated again. Now, we don't know specifically if this is related, but they said they were going to make major changes, and today, all smaller YouTubers have received changes in the algorithm in how you can actually be part of the YouTube partnership program. Now I think this has a strong correlation but let's just pray this is all it is. They could they could easily go down a more dangerous route and I'm really not looking forward to that. If this isn't it then holy shit. With the whole PewDiePie situation and we got the adpocalypse, then we got the adpocalypse too. We could be receiving more yellow monetization for all YouTube creators as well as just the adpocalypse free. So let's just put our hands together and pray this is the only changes that are happening to brand new updated steps that they're taking to ensure a video like this never circulates again. It's kind of like how YouTube slaps us around the face for pointing out a flaw in their system. Once everyone becomes public about a topic, then YouTube will say, oh well, you've just given us the excuse to go and fuck you over again. Excuse all the nice, today we're announcing, forget all that at the top, we're going to look specifically at the changes, and this is for the Twiz Clan YouTube channel. You would only receive this email if it affects you, okay? So, under the new eligible requirements announced today, your YouTube channel, whatever your YouTube channel is, this case Twiz Clan, is no longer eligible for monetization because it does not meet the brand new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the f uh, past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partnership Program on February the 20th, 2018. Unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days, accordingly, this email serves as 30 days notice that your YouTube Partnership Program terms are terminated. And you don't have to read the bit at the bottom, but it's there if you want to read it right now. So what they're basically saying is you can only monetize your content if, if you have 4,000 hours of watch time. Now this not might seem much in digits, in, in digits right there in your face, but I'm telling you this is a lot of watch time for smaller YouTubers, okay? This specific new terms of service only fucks over smaller YouTubers. That is at least 240,000 minutes. And for those of you who aren't aware of what watch time is, it's the amount of time somebody watches your video. So let's say I make a 10 minute video and I get 100 views on it. Keep in mind they have to watch exactly 10 minutes and that would equate to 10 minutes of watch time. So I get 100 views, 100 people watch it the entire way through which just doesn't happen for any YouTuber. That would only be a thousand minutes. Then you would also have to receive 239,000 more minutes of watch time within 12 months to turn YouTube into a living. 
This new terms of service only screws over smaller YouTubers, and I mean that. It really does. For those of people like myself, I left college just to be able to start making a career out of YouTube, and then they hit you with bullshit like this. It takes a lot of spare time and people working extra hours after work or school or wherever they are just to be able to make a small dime off YouTube ad revenue. Now you don't need to receive a thousand subscribers in 12 months, you just have to have 1000 subscribers overall. As well as they updated it 6 months ago and you need at least 10,000 views just to be able to get monetization and become a YouTube partner. So I have four channels. We got Twiz Gamers, Twiz Clan, Twiz Tech, and Twiz Music. So I don't mind actually showing you the watch time and all of these to give you a demonstration of exactly how this screws us over. So this is Twiz Gamers with the hours being on the bottom with 30,108 hours of watch time within the last 12 months. So Twiz Gamers is fine. I didn't receive the email for this one. Now Twiz Tech is my second best for watch time and it does equate over 4,190 hours for the last 12 months. However, I still received the email saying I am not eligible. The reason for this is because Twiz Tech is only on 833 subscribers. Twiz Clan coming in with 1,194, which means this channel is free thousand hours off being able to be monetized anymore which just sucks and twiz music being a fairly new channel only comes in at 82 hours of watch time so okay we can't make any money for the twiz clan to work on funds we cannot work on twiz tech to do that type of stuff you can't do stuff for twiz uh, twiz music's fine because that wasn't monetized in the first place it's just royalty free music for you guys to use so you guys will probably be thinking okay twiz gamers is fine then you have nothing to worry about i am still receiving demonetization on my videos that's the yellow icon that you receive. So now that this channel does manage to get stuff through, we're still having issues with the bot algorithm detecting whether or not it's viewer deemable of whether people can make money off it. So some videos I will and some videos I won't. And it's completely random. I've had way worse videos which shouldn't be monetized in my opinion become monetized even though they do commit to YouTube's terms of service as all of them do and then other ones that are completely family friendly are just demonetized. So it looks like all smaller YouTubers are being completely fucked over and just handed a massive L from YouTube. But the thing is, Logan Paul is a massive, he's got 15 million subscribers, maybe more now, because this controversy gained him more subscribers. So why do we get affected for somebody like him in his position to completely screw us over? It's not right at all. So I'm going to talk specifically to the viewers right now. Your favourite smaller YouTubers or live streamers might not be around much longer because it's so overwhelming. Not just for me, for any channel. If you support smaller channels, like smaller channels under the 10k subscriber mark, if you support what they do, then make sure to donate to their Patreons, make sure to tip them in live streams, make sure to buy their merch, make sure to check out their sponsorships, maybe rewatch some of their videos or leave their live streams on, like the hour long live streams, leave it on in the background while you go do other stuff just so they can get an incentive from it. Because those are the only things that will make them strive to be able to actually turn this into a living. And no, it's not all about money. But what it is, is an incentive to see this in the limelight as being a job in the future. Seeing it as an opportunity to do something that we love doing. But when YouTube comes out with terms of service like this, it screws over the majority of smaller YouTubers. Now what can you do as an actual smaller creator that's being affected by this? You can ask your fans and your audience to maybe re-watch some of your videos, maybe live stream some more so you can pick up the hours of watch time. Create a Patreon, make merch and sell it. Do what you have to do for the meantime until your channel meets this brand new bullshit requirement. But now Team Twiz, I'm going to be turning to you guys now as you guys are the best audience I've had. 
but I'm going to self-advertise right now. I don't do it often, but now is a perfectly deemable time to do it. We've got new merch coming out very soon, but there is still current merch you can go and buy on the site. Or you could check out my Patreon, where's a link in the description. You get rewards for tiers. So if you want to support all the hours of hard work I put into all four of the channels, then that would be a great way to do it. I'm going to ask all of you guys to please subscribe to TwizTech. If we hit that thousand mark, then that will be deemable for monetization, which will be an absolute savior. So if you guys could please subscribe to TwizTech, there is a link in the description. And lastly, if you're not using your computer or smartphone for about an hour today, if you could please go and watch one of my older live streams to increase the watch time, I would appreciate you more than anything. That would mean the absolute world to me, and I know my team Twiz have my back. Thank you so much for all the support up to now. No, I'm not going to stop with Twiz Clan. That's still going to keep going. That's not the incentive for the money. Although it does help to make better projects for you guys, that's not the incentive for Twiz Clan, nor for any of the Twiz channels. So Twiz Clan's going to continue. Twiz Tech's going to continue. Twiz Gamers is going to continue. But Twiz Music might be put on hold for the meantime just so I can put in all the other extra hours into making sure that this stuff is actually becoming successful and I can actually turn this into a living. But ladies and gentlemen, make sure to share this video to make other people aware and other small YouTubers. Share this around, tag them in it. Make sure to comment your thoughts down below or whether you've been affected by this because I know a lot of you guys have been. And make sure to smash that like button and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Massive L for us smaller YouTubers, but much love. We're sticking this together and... Peace out, Team Twiz. Much love.